the surprising 3-0 team you believe in the most, the Vikings, the Seahawks, or the Steelers? Uh, it's no questions, the Vikings. Uh, I think Kevin O'Connell is on his way to coach of the year right now. Uh, I think this guy has really taken leaps and bounds as, as a coach and a play caller and everything else. He's starting to get that respect he deserves. And uh, he's got a defensive coordinator who has just been giving people the business. That is for sure. Every week, Brian Flores is dominating this league right now defensively. Uh, and Kev Kevin's done an amazing job as a play caller. Uh, it's been really cool to watch Sam Darnold and really him being, you know, playing with confidence and belief in himself. Uh, and looking like the guy he was at USC. I mean, that, that all the things you saw there that you thought would make him good, uh, it seems like Kevin O'Connell's brought them all back and brought them back to life. And so this this division, I think, is, is going to be a, a fun one to watch play out because Detroit obviously was the team everybody thought was going to walk away with a chance to go play in the NFC Championship. And now the Vikings and the Packers, what, they, what the Packers have also done with Malik Willis, I mean, uh, you know what? This division could get interesting by the end of the year. Yeah, and 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 that's where I was going to go to follow up, uh, Andrew. A couple of follow ups. Number one is, I think Matt Lafleur has kind of set himself up for Coach of the Year too right now. I mean, Malik Willis has looked terrific, just superb, and um, and to get two wins without Jordan Love, and it looks like they might get him back in time for the Vikings this coming week, which is awesome. Um, that is amazing what LaFleur does and what he cooks up, Andrew. It is. I talked to him yesterday a little bit after their game, uh, you know, just kind of give him some love and say, man, it's really impressive to watch what you've done with this football team over the last few weeks. Uh, you know, to think about it, man, these are those opportunities for a team. And that's why I think Green Bay is sneaky on this one. You know, you have these moments happen and you watch a team kind of, gal you know, this galvanizing moment where they all come together and say, hey, we we don't know what our situation is. We don't know how Malik's going to play, but we're going to all come together and play the best football we possibly can. And then, oh, by the way, the guy that you really counted on, it's not like his year is over. Jordan Love's coming back. Um, and this team has found a way to just go play their absolute best already. And so when he comes back and now you add his element to it, um, I think, man, they're they're one of those teams that you guys say, wow, like that's pretty impressive to watch. And then let's see where this team heads. And that's why I really think this division could be crazy is that you really could have the Vikings and the Packers being the two lead dogs in this division quickly. Uh, just by the way they've handled the last few weeks, you've got to be really impressed. And, man, could you not be more happy for Malik Willis? And this is a guy we all rode off and said, man, I don't think this guy can play quarterback in the NFL how it started. You know, and, and then now here he is. And I think that's the best thing that maybe a Bryce Young or some of these other young quarterbacks around the league that have struggled early can look at is there's more proof that, you know what, whether you're ready early or not, it doesn't matter. Geno Smith, Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold, like look across the league. Uh, you just got to stick with it and stay with it and make your opportunity and your fit will come and you got a chance to go find your success. And we'll put a pin in Bryce Young for a second, but I do want to uh, want to – follow up one more uh one more time with what you just said earlier about how Brian Flores brought the heat and how he is bringing the heat and this is a copycat league Andrew right and we talk in the media about blueprints for other teams to follow did the Vikings give a blueprint on how to handle CJ Stroud in this Texans offense and yeah I think you'll see, I think you'll see more of it but the problem is I think with Brian Flores is he has a style and a way he coaches and, and they play that he's always done and and I think to me it's something that he's mastered and so it's you know sometimes you got to be careful trying to copy because if you're not a master at it and you don't do it as well as he does and you don't disguise it and give people as many problems he's he's done it so long he can do all the disguises he can show zeros he can show all these different things that you think are coming and then have all the little things that come off of it they really trick the these quarterbacks and changes the picture for them once the ball snap. Um, but I think you'll see more teams try to copy it. Uh, I just think Brian Flores is doing it at a clip right now. That's uh, pretty hard to match. I mean, he's, he's got to be feeling pretty good in those meeting rooms right now. It's, he's, they played some good football teams and been able to really show them up over the last few weeks. Yeah. And their next two games again at green Bay. And we're hoping we get some good news on Sam Darnold's knee today. Uh, he did finish the game on Sunday and then in London, taking on the jets and Aaron Rodgers. You want to talk about needing to disguise things for somebody uh, that, that will be in, that will be a great one. I'm, I'm happy to say I'll be in the booth for that on NFL Network. Andrew Whitworth here on The Rich Eisen Show. Catch The Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.